All right, y'all, it is that time. An hour and a half before sunset, we're gonna see what this newer ML300 could do. Let me show it to y'all. Here we go, we got it out. The ML300 by newer. Now, is it newer or is it newer? I heard someone else say newer and I was un I was unsure what exactly, you know, like what what what, what, what you would call it, you know? So we're gonna get a chance to shoot out here right now. We're gonna shoot in this beautiful sunset I have behind me. I'm gonna use it as a hair light and see how it works out. I'll let you know the settings I'm using and where we are. Um, now I know the shutter is a max ability to do is one over 25, one over 250. So I'm gonna use the ND filter on my lens to see if it would, it would help, you know? Um, I did it a couple days ago and it seemed to be really great and I'm gonna try it again now. I am using a Sony A7C with a 18 to 35 Sigma APC. Don't judge me, don't judge me. <laughs> Let's get into it. All right, so here we're just waiting on the talent. We find a perfect area for the stand where there's like a light leaking through. Maybe like right here. It's like a ratio of perfect, like right here, right? So Mason, right to where the stick ball is. All right, so what I'm gonna do is do a couple 10 shots to see what we do. It should be perfectly aimed at them and I have a beautiful angle. Uh, Right, right, coming right off the right of him. We're gonna hit him hard with it. I want to say I have it at one over eight. Now, setting wise, I don't know. Again, I have this ND filter on here. Uh, I'm gonna have to, it's made by Free Will. Y'all get a chance to check it out. Check it out. It's dirty. Don't ever do this, y'all. I'm not doing it properly at all. All right, let me get the camera on. So, right now, the settings are sitting at one over 200, ISO 200, F8. Ooh, I'm gonna turn that speed off. For a single shot. But right now we're incredibly bright. So what we're gonna do is just turn down that right there, which is the um, ND filter. I have the ND filter right at a five. I had it all the way maxed down. Let's see what we get. Three, two, one. Okay, it's a little dark. Let's dim it up to about a three. I would call that great so far. Um, yeah, we're hitting them. We're hitting them perfectly. I think we are. One more time. And that's a one over eight sitting at a three. So if we were to move the ND to five, right? How bright would it be? So let's go up to a one over two. We'll do half. No, all right. Three, two, one. Let's see how that is. That's hitting them. That's in the middle of a hard shadow. So I would most definitely use a box. I would most definitely use a box. So overall, it's in them at a 1.4. So that just tells me I don't even have to go that far, right? And so let's let's play with this. Let's see what I can do. Let's go up to 116. Right? 116. Let's turn the ND. Let's see where the ND looks good with a nice, nice outside, right? I think that looks pretty right there. So at a three. Let's see at a three. Let's see how we're hitting them at a three. Ready? Three, two, one. And that's what I want, right there. To me, that's perfect. That's perfect. I would most definitely still do it with the shadow box, with a soft box, break up some of those hard lines with the shadow. But as far as hitting them, like lighting them up from a distance and getting, you know, where I need them to be, like, let's see how far away that is. One, two, three. Roughly 12 steps away. Like, that's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad whatsoever. I don't know. Let me let me see what else I can do. Come on, Nathan. Right there, right? Yeah. Perfect. Right. So we pinned it up just a tad, right? right? And we're going to see if we can hit them from here. One, two, three. Down. And that looks great to me. It even softens the light and redirects it a little bit. I would say that's exactly what I want. Let's get a close up on it. You ready? We're still at 1 over 200. I think 200 has 8. Ready? 3, 2, 1. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. I have the window still there at 3, and the light is at a 1 over 16. And that's beautiful. Right there. I like this. Personally, I do. I don't know. So far, I like this light. I think it's beautiful. Um, 
I did two sessions with it. Um, one on a really harsh time at one o'clock and I'll shoot a group of individuals and I had it maybe 25 feet away. I'll show you the image. I thought it was fairly decent for what it did on the street. Um, I didn't even have to push up the max power. I had a one over one eight. Um, but again, no soft blocks on it, so it's direct light, just shooting directly straight down the line. Um, overall, I like it so far. I did get to shoot a young graduating lady as well. Um, it did really well in session. As far as refresh rate, beautiful. Um, I didn't lose any power on the battery. I haven't charged it yet because I haven't gone down a notch. Just now, it's saying I'm going down on a notch, one, one notch out of the four. So, and this is probably the third time I'm using it which isn't bad, you know, as far as battery, because I've shot, I shot quite a few of them, you know, quite a few pictures. Um, and overall, I'm enjoying it. I'm gonna do a video on a harsh light, maybe like at 12 o'clock, one o'clock, when we got hard beating light and really fight with the sun. I meant to do a video that day, but hectic on the street and so many cars driving by, it was just completely unfeasible, so. But I will get that, <laughs> eventually, I will get that. Mason, great job, do appreciate it. Thank you for taking the time to check out this video. If you have any questions or any tips and ideas, feel free to put them in the comments below. Um, I plan to talk to more, talk to y'all more about this particular camera, which is the A7C, um, and why I'm particularly using this combination. I do have a GH5 inside, and that's a whole nother conversation, right? It's a whole nother conversation. And we're gonna get to that hopefully on this channel right here. Um, Again, don't forget to sub, and if you have any questions, you have any tips or anything that you may want to learn, I can help you with. I'll let you know if I can or not, and if I can, I will make a video. Feel free to put it in the comments below. Until next time, I'm all at y'all.